My journey, all of you know how I met this wonderful man and I believed in his vision. I don't think I have ever believed in something, in a person, the way I believed in Guardian. From the f onset, I knew there was something in him that needed to be brought out. And I am so thankful to God that the whole world now knows who Guardian Angel is. Esther Musila, wife of gospel artist Guardian Angel, has unveiled the secrets behind her youthful figure and appearance despite being 18 years older than her husband. Despite the age gap, Musila has captivated many with her hourglass figure. I exercise a lot and my uh, preferred form of exercise is dancing. Regarding my figure, I believe it's natural. I used to be very slim in my 30s and 40s, but suddenly I gained weight during the COVID-19 period. I, however, you know, when a woman turns 50, she tends to gain weight rapidly due to hormonal changes, she explained. In addition to her workout routine, Musila emphasizes careful attention to her diet. I don't eat much for the first meal. Second, I avoid a wheat product and also sugar. I'm not a sugar consumer. I also drink a lot of water and consume plenty of uh, vegetables. I eat twice a day, only drink tea at night without sugar, Musila added. This comes months after gospel singer Guardian Angel shared his personal journey of facing a discrimination within at the church when he married Esther Musila, a woman older than him. Speaking at the lounge of his gospel music record uh, label 7 Even, Guardian Angel attributed the success of his music career to his wife, acknowledging her unwavering support during a time when he was subjected to online trolling for his choice of partner. So if you are going to go to the house, you can go to the house. 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 You Thank you so much. You have a good heart. <laughs> the next week, I'm going to shoot a shoot video. I'm going to shoot a video. I'm video. I'm going to shoot video. i support going to video. I'm support to shoot a video. I'm going to shoot a video. I'm going to shoot a video. I'm going to shoot a video. i Mini <laughs> Nanyi muka kuja na hitu makamera. Muka setu makamera na makapshots. Niki ya muka tu ni Guardian, 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 oh Guardian, oh 50, 49, 60, 70. Muki anza jina bibi yamu muna anza na 59, 76. Yani muna anza na number alafu muna taja za my wife. Muka ni tukana. Baba <laughs> Kaza yo 50, umenisimamisha hapa leo ni makula suti safi. Nataka tu ni jishukuru kwa sababu ya kukosa kusikia hiyo ushienzi yenye. Hiyo ushienzi yenye ndo inge ni uwa. Lakini kwa sababu siku isikia, leo mimi nimesimama hapa kwa sababu ya ushienzi yenye. 
Nataka tu ni mwite bibi yangu tumpikie makofi kwa sababu ya kuwavumilia na ushenzi yenu. Ndio anifikishia hapo. Mimi nataka tu. Mimi nataka tu. Nione kama tunaagree ama tuagree. Huu bibi yangu amekuwa amana kwa maisha yangu ama bana. Amekuwa. Amekuwa amana ama bana. Amekuwa sana. Sana nini mlikuwa mnalialia? Oh, bibi bibi oh kijana amepotea, amepotea wapi na niko training na watu. Amepotea nimeenda wapi? Mnani pepeta hosi pia ameisha sasa kari yake kari ya gani? Tena kuna talk wiki. Ile wiki mlifanya ni trend mbili. Sasa nimeongezea moja ya ku trend talk. Oh bibi yangu alinikufia tivi. Kuna mtu kana kila siku lakini anang'amana na mimi tu. Bibi yangu nataka kukushukuru sana mbele ya hizi kamera. Sasa wanakupenda siku hizo wanasema huyu amesaidia huyu kijana. Asante kwa sababu hao wamepata opportunity kwa sababu yako. Siku moja nataka niseme tu kitu moja ya yenye babangu najua taki niseme na hii namalizia. I went to a church to sing somewhere. And I was mistreated in that church. Nikaenda kwa kanisa nikaingia kwanza pastor akasema elders wamesema huyu kijana asisimame kwa madhabahu. Waka bishana waka bishana waka bishana mpaka finally after kama 30 minutes pastor akakubali ni ime. Lakini wakati nimeingia hivi kuimba nimepiga chorus ya kwanza ya pili pastor amechama anataka kukuja mpaka alinyang'anye mic. Wewe yake na ungetulia bana cho moja ma. Wakati pastor alichukua microphone nikimaza kuimba hata kusema ati kumekuwa na msanii nini kama ile kuliko kuna msanii amekuja chatu akusema kitu akaendelea tu na nikachukia kanisa nikasema hadu yani kwa bibi yangu inaweza fanya mpaka nikue mimi sistahili kuimba wimbo wa Mungu kwa church kaenda huko na wafu yangu nikamwambia unaona leo ndio siku yangu ya mwisho kanyaka kwa kanisa nikasema i will never step into any church mambo ya kanisa na mimi imeisha wacha nipige maombi yangu kwa bedroom wafu yangu aliendelea kwenda kwa kanisa yao akienda na niacha huko mimi ni kanisa and then one day i go into i was invited into a birthday And I met my father pastor Babu. Sijai kuona pastor anakufurahia vile fana na kufurahia. Akafurahi kunicheki ananiambia wazee umekuwa wapi jo? Yaani amefurahi kunicheki atuli. Sasa zile meeting imeisha ananiita kando kuje tu kunywa chai. Yaani amefurahi na mimi mbaya. Alafu ule basi alini chuja kumbe akateleza kibati baya akapea na kabola hapo mahali. Oi. Alafu nikasema mimi nikasema kumbe mimi nilikuwa nakataa church kwa sababu ya kuwa na struggle. Si mimi ndo na struggle. Lakini ananichukia kwa sababu ya struggle yake yeye mwenyewe. Nikasema ni shetani anataka kutumia njia kunitoa kwa church. Na basi akaniita sasa ile hakuna mtu ana belief kwa marriage yangu especially pia watumishi na pasi akaniambia mimi nasimama na wewe mpaka ufanye harusi mpaka uoyuyu wanakutukana naye na mtasimama na akanichukua kwa chachi yake akaulizo kwa nini unachukua huyu mtu kwa nini unafanya hivi lakini akakaza akasema mimi huyu kijana wangu muniue lakini anasimama hapa na mi leo nimesimama hapa kwa injili na nimerudi kwa kanisa na kuimbia Mungu kwa sababu babangu alisimama na mimi. Babangu. Babangu nakushukuru sana. Wewe babangu. Asante kwa sababu ya kukubali kuchukua mshale kwa niaba yangu. Na nimesimama hapa leo kwa sababu ulichukua hiyo mshale. Asante.